Let's talk a little bit about property insurance. The first question is, why would you want to insure property? Well, for a lot of folks, their property is a lot of uh, the most expensive things they have that would be very hard to replace if something bad happened to it. And there's two big categories of property insurance. You have renter's insurance and you have homeowner's insurance. Now, as you can imagine, renter's, assur renter's insurance is good for renters. And what would it cover? Well, let's say you are renting an apartment, but you own the furniture. You own maybe some of the appliances. Your laptop is in the apartment. You have a big screen TV. You have a stereo. Whatever else you have, it could have a lot of value to it. And now let's say something bad happened. Uh, maybe uh, the building, uh, maybe there was a, an earthquake or a fire or a flood, and a lot of that stuff got damaged. And it would be hard for you out of pocket, just out of your own, uh, with your own money to, to buy all of that stuff back. It would take a big hit. And so that's what renter's insurance would cover. You would pay a certain amount on a regular basis, on an annual basis. That is your premium. And that if, and there's us they usually list the scenarios. You know, maybe there's theft. Maybe you got burglarized. Maybe uh, the, the place burned down. Whatever the scenarios that they list, in those scenarios, if your property got lost or damaged or destroyed or stolen, then they will pay you back for that. Now, homeowner's insurance is an extension of it, but when you're a homeowner, you don't just own the furniture and the electronics inside the house, you own the entire house. And as you can imagine, a house itself can be a lot more expensive uh, than, let's say, the furniture inside of the house. And so homeowner's insurance will cover the entire property. Yeah, let's say if your house were to get destroyed in a fire, it will cover that. Now, there could very well be certain deductibles or certain limits to it, but it's a really important asset for a lot of folks to insure uh, pretty well. It can obviously cost hundreds of thousands of dollars or more, and you oftentimes borrowed money against it. And so you don't want to be in a situation where you borrowed money, uh, you, know, you put hundreds of thousands of dollars down payment, you borrowed extra money, you bought a house, and then a flood, an earthquake, a fire, something destroys the house, you still owe that money, but you no longer have a house. So you can imagine homeowner's insurance can be uh, not only valuable, uh, and many times the bank that gave a loan would say, you have to have homeowner's insurance because we don't want you to be in that situation. But even if you don't have, if you're a homeowner, and even if someone isn't forcing you to get homeowner's insurance, it's a pretty good idea because a home is a pretty valuable asset. And there's going to be different types of homeowner's insurance. Some will cover everything I just mentioned. Some will cover if you live in a high flood risk zone. Some will cover everything but flood, and then you have to get a separate flood insurance. I live out here in California. Sometimes a policy will cover everything but earthquakes, and then you have to get a separate earthquake insurance uh, for that. But it's the same idea. If one of this, these really bad things happen, um, and you were to lose the house or lose the property inside the house, this insurance would have you covered.